birthday. Thank you. But I don't think they take Ollie into the forbidden forest. Fish and chips. It's the perfect birthday lunch. I didn't do an intro to this video. So, hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Spoiler alert, we come to Hogsmeade and check out Hogwarts. So keep on watching. Happy Earth? March 5th, Peter's birthday. It's the birthday boy. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. A fairy Potter yes. collector birthday. <laughs> that should be the title. So we're in line right now. Oh, that's not bad. Yes, not bad at all. We're taking a curve. <laughs> we are fast walkers. There we are, beat the there, rest of the we group. We beat the rest of the group, the crew. So I'm proud of myself. Peter's legs are twice as long as mine, <laughs> and I was able you to keep up. up. Now we're going to breakfast feet. at the Leaky Cauldron. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. No, I'll come back. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Happy all right, so for my birthday breakfast, I ordered the egg, leek, and mushroom pasty. And Mindy got the same thing. Larry got the American breakfast. And Michael and Thomas got the pancake breakfast. Mm. With the warmest, most delicious croissant. And the rest ordered lunch. That's awesome. What is this? It's a gift from Mindy and Larry. It's all my favorite things. So since it's my birthday, I want everyone else to decide what to do. I don't want to think, so what's the plan? We're gonna get Starbucks every hour on the hour. I tried to make a plan, but Mindy steamrolled it and it made a whole new <laughs> So the plan is, the plan is we're gonna ride Gringotts. Okay. After Gringotts, we're gonna walk out of Diagon Alley and we're gonna ride the Mummy ride. Okay, okay. Then we're gonna hit the Hogwarts Express. Okay. And then we're gonna get Starbucks coffee and then get in line for Hagrid's. Okay, whatever you guys think is great. We have all but a Hufflepuff here. Yep. We were gonna have a Hufflepuff, actually two Hufflepuffs. My friend Julie, who you've met, and my mom, Mom Potter Collector, are both Hufflepuffs. Grin God's Bank, no safer place, not one, except perhaps Hogwarts. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the escape from Gringotts Q are the newspapers. So a lot of you have asked me, you know, is this a good time for a first timer to go to Universal? You know, will I experience everything? And I never really know how to answer that question because, I mean, yes, you, you do experience a lot, but being with my cousin Andrew, who's not been here, so we're in the Gringotts queue, and they're not doing the elevators. So that's like a kind of a missed experience. So if you're like, this is your once in a lifetime go to Universal, it might be smart to wait until everything is opened up. What are your like initial thoughts? Oh, it's so cool. It's a lot of fun. There's so, so much detail everywhere. And I was just telling Andrew that there's a sign over here that I've not seen before. So every time I come, I see something new. Yeah, everything's really well done. Very believable. Should we go down Nocturne Alley? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay, Nocturne Alley. Michael, are you scared? No. We've entered Gorgon and Burke's dodgy place. A giant troll foot there. That's my shirt. <laughs> That's my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that is so creepy, and I don't ever remember seeing it. Do you? I don't remember seeing this, no. It's scary. Are you guys so scared? So scared. Spooky. We know Michael's not scared. Thomas, are you scared? No. This is Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. So it's the Weasley Twins joke shop that they opened up. Okay. It's just like all about the theming is just like 
incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually started. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so okay, funny. Brandon George, they are just serious jokesters. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what it is. It's a thing we call. What? what? Uh, <laughs> is that the jacket? For all of your Quidditch supply needs, you want quality Quidditch supplies. Of course. There you go. <laughs> Y'all, it is crowded here today. Look at this. It's a lot of people. Okay, so I got the new shake and espresso brown sugar with oat milk, but I only did two pumps of the brown sugar because it's way too sweet otherwise. Otherwise, they put six pumps in the venti. So for someone who doesn't love sweet things, I think you could do three pumps. I did two pumps. Three pumps, I think, would be perfect. This is really good. Me? Oh, who, me? I got an oat milk latte. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Tim does not like coffee. I don't like coffee. That's a true story. What about iced tea? I like iced tea. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the story is like, oh, yes. iced tea is caramel coloring and I'm allergic to corn. <laughs> Tim's like really allergic to corn, which is not a good allergy. So if any of you are allergic to corn, comment below. Tim under well, yeah, comment below, but also Tim understands and I understand being Tim's friend. Funny story is, is I, I ordered a nitro, cold nitrous, nitro. Nitro. <laughs> 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 A nitro cold brew, and she's like, Mindy, we're out of gas. Oh. <laughs> no, no. So anyways, it's just a cold brew because there's no gas. Starbucks oh. is out of gas. Starbucks is out of gas. No, Thomas is all the way over here. He's just pondering life. Oh. <laughs> you gotta tell them about your your espresso soda. Two shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup. Okay, yep, that's important. And then you get a sparkling water, a plain sparkling water. And you dump it in. And you drink it. Espresso. And you drink it. Yum. So Mama and Papa Pirate Collector were supposed to be here today, but they had to go to New York to see my grandma who was in the hospital. She's doing okay now, which is great. But I thought it'd be fun to FaceTime Mama and Papa Pirate Collector right now. Hi, honey. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, hey, Aunt Cheryl. I know Aunt Cheryl was up there, too. Happy birthday, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Thanks, Aunt Barbara. Yes. Hey, Grandma. So pants. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Where are you? Universal Studios. How exciting. Yeah. Is that? Everybody is taking care of me so well. Well, good. I'm getting spoiled. Hi, everybody. <laughs> sorry I missed you. I'm so sorry I'm not there. It's like 75 degrees and it's a uh, sunny day. And it's just like the day you were born, Peter. Papa Potter Collector just joined too. Hello, everybody. Should we mummy it? Yeah. Yes. 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 She was just on the phone. So we just rode the mummy. And so you guys are seeing more of Universal Studios than I normally show. I usually just feature the Wizarding World of Harry Potter because this is a Harry Potter channel. We're just exploring some other parts of Universal and decided to take you along with me. So we just did the mummy. That's a must if you come. All right, now we're heading to the Hogwarts Express to go to Hogsmeade Station and try to get on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And we're off! <laughs> if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. I wanted to mention, if you come to Universal Studios, the only way to ride the Hogwarts Express is if you have a park-to-park -park ticket, so you need the two-park ticket in order to ride the Hogwarts Express, which takes you from Universal Studios to the Islands of Adventure Park, which is where Hogsmeade is located, or back to Universal Studios, which is where Diagon Alley is located. We're going to Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure now, okay. which has like a, only a 60-minute wait, which is really low, uh -huh. which is awesome. And then we're gonna try to. Hey, how are you? So in King's Cross Station, there's a spot where there's a wall of just suitcases and a little ledge. Great spot for photos. Sit on the ledge, take a photo or two. It's an awesome backdrop. Excited to ride the express? Always. Choo choo.
We're leaving King's Cross Station. We're gonna get on the next Hogwarts Express. And then we're gonna go visit Hagrid in the forest. Camera work by me, and as always, signing out. Thank you. You excited? <laughs> Sorry. I'm on track for excitement. If you easily get car sick, don't sit next to the window. Because then you'll get train sick. Because then you'll get train sick. Smell it? What is it? It's peppermint. peppermint. Our potion master. Oh, so much better. <laughs> One of the most magical experiences here and riding the Hogwarts Express is leaving King's Cross Station and then you arrive at a totally new station, Hogsmeade Station here. It's just totally magical and immersive. Look at this place. You've heard me say before, when you exit at Hogsmeade Station, don't go down the stairs right away. Come and take a great photo and check out the view of the Hogwarts Express up close. It's a great photo spot. I mean, look at this. We made it to Hogsmeade. It's time to get some candy. There was like a fight going on or something and Universal Security swooped right in and took care of it. Well done Universal. You guys are on top of things. Don't fight if you're here, it's a magical place. Careful. Oh, you got some Yeah. I don't see anything going. Where's Hagrid? Here I am. <laughs> you can see Hagrid's hut in two places at Wizarding World. One is in the queue for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and the other is in the queue for Flight of the Hippogriff, which is just through these trees. This is possibly the most beautiful no, view of anything at Universal Studios. So if you ride Hagrid's, make sure your things are secure. Andrew lost his, his uh, ear pods. So they might be available after the park closes at the front of the park, but yeah, make sure your stuff is secure. And Nicole lost her mask. It just it flew off. Did you, because when did it fly off? Do you know? As soon as it started going backwards. As soon as it started going backwards. <laughs> and it flew like right past me. Yeah, it went right in between Larry and I. I was like, oh, really? Them just lost their mask. <laughs> so now we're having lunch, or I guess dinner, at the Three Broomsticks. Y'all know I love fish and chips. It's the perfect birthday lunch. I'm sorry, but the fish and chips, it's the best dish here. <laughs> the best. <laughs> They have the stage blocked off. I wonder what they're doing, some sort of construction over here. This is where the Hogwarts Frog Choir sings. So we've left the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and we're in Jurassic Park now. We're gonna ride the Jurassic Park River Adventure and hopefully catch them river. testing river. Velocicoaster. So we'll find out. Yeah, River Adventure. River? River? River, you've been on it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was lucky to not get wet. Yeah, I don't know about this yeah, time. We're not, we might not be as lucky. The last we, time Pete and I oh, went, man. we got so wet. Well, let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
How cool is this, guys? I don't know if it's gonna beat Hag Ride, but it's gonna be pretty darn cool. Time, the ever-flowing river. Wow, look at that mask. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the ever flowing river. river. <laughs> this is nice. They were all broken last time. They were all broken. One dinosaur was even like. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully, he does not have a sore throat. <laughs> oh, yes. A group of herbivores that includes herbivores. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We're supposed to go that way. What? Oh no. Oh no! I think it's sturdy. It's sturdy, right? It's very sturdy. Yeah. Uh, Larry, what do we do? I don't know. I don't know what I to do. So Tim and Andrew and Mindy, I think, are the wettest. Yeah. Everyone else is wet, but your glasses are very wet. Everyone, this is Dustin, the owner of the Wizarding Trunk. He's also at Universal here. His birthday was yesterday, March 4th. So I wanted to introduce you all. He is the mastermind, the Harry Potter fan behind the Wizarding Trunk boxes that are unboxed on the channel. So definitely give the Wizarding Trunk a try if you haven't already. All right, we're, oh, they're testing. They're testing the roller coaster. Let's check it out. Wow, that takes off. That's so That's what That's what makes Thank you for hanging out with me on my birthday. Okay, so I Is that not beautiful or what? A lot of people think that this is Gryffindor Tower, but it's actually Dumbledore's office. We see it featured in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but also if you notice in the movies, Dumbledore's office is three-tiered. It has three levels. So the park is closed now, and a little tip for you, if you hang out here for, you know, 15 minutes, or even sometimes less, after the park is closed, you pretty much have the park empty. Security will allow you to take your final photos. They're very nice about that. So hang out here for just a little while and experience Hogsmeade and Hogwarts pretty much empty. What was your favorite part of the day? Celebrating the birthday oh, with you. I didn't mean no, to set it up is, like that. That is, that oh. is. No, but that is. Oh, well, of thank course. You. And all of us together with your family is so fun. Oh, well, awesome. Yeah. My wonderful big my, brother. My, <laughs> my least favorite part of the day <laughs> was celebrating with my big, your brother. big brother. <laughs> when we got to drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee. <laughs> I think it's a great day with a variety of people who are all respectful, pleasant, funny, enjoying the day, celebrating Peter, and it's a beautiful day in general. My favorite part of the day was being with some of the people that I love the most in this world. What was your least favorite part of the day? The least favorite part of the day was that it wasn't longer. Oh, cop out. <laughs> no, it wasn't a cop out. No. 
Because there's so much more we could have done if we there's had so like another more. hour but or two. The night is young. We the do. The night is young. We're going to Toothsome's for a birthday dinner, and I'm gonna have a big ice cream sundae. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna be a real big one. Say cheese. Cheese. Say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Can't leave Islands of Adventure without going into the trading company. So this is the gift shop at the front of the park and it has pretty much a little bit of everything, which is awesome. And Andrew has to get his Gryffindor crew neck. So this, these are the crews. Oh no, they only have smalls. Only smalls. Little uh, insider tip. So you saw the shop at the end. There's also like a little souvenir booth at the end of both of the parks. So Port Provisions is the one at the end of Islands of Adventure. That's a wrap or something is, is the one at the Universal Studio side. But they sometimes sell their kind of clearance merchandise in these stores. So definitely check it out and see if there's anything on clearance. Normally 30 bucks, they're 20.99 here. Normally 35 bucks, 23.99. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or Harry Potter collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting! Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. The Potter Collector, happy birthday to you. I wish I could be with some of my favorite people in the whole world. Oh, oh that was nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?